So in the last video, we started with filling the details needed for us to purchase our uh, web hosting. So we go, uh, yeah, you can choose to pay with InterSwitch or bank transfer, anyone. So I'll use bank transfer. I have read and agreed to terms and service. If you have a promotion code, anyway, I don't know where I could get a code, but if you have a promotion code, you can enter it here. So check out. A user with the email already exists here. Yeah, I'm already registered on this site before, so I'm going to use another another email, campus messenger. Yeah, so the same thing. Check out. Now, so we were here. You are expected to pay to this any of this bank, and they will confirm the payment and make sure that um, you are true with purchasing from them. Or you could go with the other option, InterSwitch Web Pay. You choose Pay via GTP. So you wait for it to load. Yeah, so yeah, expect it to input your email address. Yeah, it takes you here. If you're using another bank account, you could input your card number, card details, and click pay. If you're using any of these banks, alert GT, you could just pay with your bank and then you enter your account number. You could use star 737 and rest to pay. So pay using this, it opens a new window. By the side, if you're using your phone, this would still apply. Then you're expected to impute your account number, then generate a token. If you have hardware token, you just click the token, get the number. Mine is this 432. If you have if you don't have an hardware token, you have to use star uh, you hardware token star 737 star 7 ash on your GT Bank account. It asks you for your password then you process this token through it so submit okay nice we are done purchasing a hosting service from qservers.net and this particular purchase would be given to the very first student that reach this point of the tutorial and it's free for them alhamdulillah I would give them the login details and the rest in Shava. So we are through installing. Next thing we need to do is shows you successfully install, right? So you go to manage account. So here you could see that I have a domain here. This is unique to Q servers. Every single simple and have their unique place, but they all have the same what they call it. Um, um, they call C panel. But let's just continue. You can see domain name. Remember, I purchased learnwordpress.com together. Um, so you could go and come here services, my services. Yeah. Remember, I went through my services. Currently, they are still trying to um, approve my purchase before we could be able to access our hosting service, our hosting site. So once that is done, I would continue with the tutorial. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.